Stellar sea lions, they're endangered. They were listed as endangered in the Western population in 1997. And that was due to about an 80% population collapse from the mid-1970s until the late 1990s. So it's really important to understand what's going on with these populations. And nobody really knows for sure what happened when the populations declined so much because nobody was really watching. So we've been studying these stellar sea lions out on Chiswell Island for the past uh, 20 years almost, and we've been using this remote video system. And the video system is great because we can watch these sea lions without disturbing them out on the island. This year we're seeing a lot more killer whale predation. There are a lot fewer pups born on the rookery this year than there were just a couple years ago. So things may be changing again, and it's important to continue these studies to help understand what's happening now. We take this fine scale, detailed data on the sea lions, meaning that we are tracking them um, as many hours of the day as we can, looking at their different behaviors that they're doing and how they're caring for their young. And what we're doing is we're finding animals that have um, unique markings on them that we're able to track over the entire day and throughout the entire summer, and then eventually even from year to year. And what this then allows us to do is look at things um, that are important to the sea lion population, such as their vital rate. So we're looking at do the same females come back to the island every year to give birth? And then what we also do is we count the animals twice a day, and this gives us general trends in the estimation for the population out there. That allows us to speculate um, why we're seeing them. Is it seasonally or is it different every year? Um, and it's really important in the long term to look at how that changes over time because um, the species is a really good indicator of how the general ecosystem is doing out there.